Good morning. This is Kasturi Day. I'm continuing with uh, Class Seven ICSC syllabus. These are I'm discussing today about some important questions on the plant and animal tissues. Uh, this is the first question. Choose the most appropriate answers. Okay. Meristematic tissues have. There are four options, actively dividing cells, dead cells, cells that divide for a shorter period and cells that do not divide at all. Okay, the answer will be the first one, that is A, actively dividing cells. Which do the following is not a characteristic of, a, of meristematic tissues. Here also there are four options, cells are small in size. Vacuoles are mostly present, cell wall is thin, cells actively divide to form new cells. The answer will be B. Vacuoles are mostly absent. The lateral meristematic tissues is also called cambium, sclerenchyma, parenchyma or colenchyma. The answer will be A. That's the cambium. Okay, it's responsible for the increase in the thickness of the roots and the stem. Thus, this simple fourth one is the simple permanent tissue is found in the stem and the petioles of the leaves. Uh, this is the four options are parenchyma, sclerenchyma, colenchyma, and epithelial tissue. The answer will be the colenchyma, that is the C, which is thickened at the corners and gives support to the leaves and the stems. This causes, fifth question is, this causes increase in the length of the plant. First one is protective tissue, lateral meristematic, lateral meristematic tissue, apical meristematic tissue, complex permanent tissue. The answer will be C, that is apical meristematic tissue. Which of the following is a protective tissue? A1, A is cork, B, colon, chlorenchyma. C. Phloem and D. Is xylem. C. Six answer will be the cork, that is the dead cells. The complex tissues in plants is made up of xylem, phloem, xylem and phloem, and none of these. The seventh one answer is C, that is xylem and phloem. Complex tissue in plants is made up of xylem and phloem. Now, the question number 8 is complex permanent tissue transports dash and food materials. What does it transport? The options are sugar, salt, water and none of these. It transports C, that is water. Which of the following cells have lignin? Parenchyma, chlorenchyma, Colenchyma and sclerenchyma. The ninth one, the answer will be D, that is sclerenchyma. Now the xylem consists of vessels, colenchyma, xylem fibers, or the tracheids, xylem fibers, and xylem parenchyma. Third option is sieve cells, xylem fibers, and xylem parenchyma. And fourth option is vessels, tracheids, fibers, and xylem parenchyma. The tenth one, the answer will be the D. Xylem consists of vessels, tracheids, fibers and xylem parenchyma. Now question number 11. The fibers of jute and husk of coconut is made up of the four options. Parenchyma tissue, sclerenchyma tissue, colenchyma tissue and xylem tissue. Now the eleventh one, the answer will be B, that is clarenchyma tissue. Now, twelfth question. This is located on the outer side of the vascular bundle. Options are xylem, phloem, fibers or colenchyma. Okay. The twelfth one, the answer will be B. That is the phloem which is located on the outer side of the bundle. Which of the following tissues are made up of dead cells? Options are sclerenchyma, phloem, parenchyma and xylem. The answer is clarenchyma. Clarenchyma are made up of is uh, tissues are made up of dead cells. Phloem consists of fourteenth one. Phloem consists of so options are vessels, colenchyma, and phloem fibers. B. Tracheids, 
phloem fibers and phloem parenchyma. C, sieve cells, phloem fibers and phloem parenchyma. And D is vessels, sieve tubes, xylem fibers and phloem parenchyma. Fourteenth one, the answer will be C, that is phloem consists of sieve cells, phloem fibers and phloem parenchyma. Now the fifteenth question, these are elongated cells with minute pores. The options are phloem parenchyma, sieve cells, phloem fibers and companion cells. The fifteenth answer is sieve cells. Sieve cells are elongated cells with minute, minute pores. Sixteenth one, vascular bundle consists of parenchyma, scleren and sclerenchyma, colenchyma and xylem, phloem and vessels, xylem and phloem. Vascular bundle consists of the D option that is xylem and phloem. Now, the voluntary muscles are, uh, there are four options, cylindrical and branched, cylindrical and unbranched, spindle shaped and spherical. The uh, 17th question, the option that is right is voluntary muscles are cylindrical and unbranched. Okay, now the 18, the short thread-like branches arising from the cell body of a nerve cell are called cytons, axons, neurons or dendrons. Which one is the correct one? It's the dendrons. Okay, these cells, 19 one, these cells line the inner walls of the blood vessels, lungs, heart and esophagus. Options are squamous epithelium, cuboidal epithelium, columnar epithelium and the blood. The 19th one, the answer is squamous epithelium which forms the lining of the blood vessels, lungs, heart and esophagus. Now the tissues that form the external covering as well as the lining of the internal organ is number A, muscular tissue, B, nervous tissue, C, connective tissue, D, epithelial tissue. It's the epithelial tissue which forms the external covering and the inner lining of the internal organs. Now, 21st one, the white fibrous tissue present in tendons joins bone to bone, muscle to bone, muscle to a muscle and all of these. The 21th answer is B, it's muscle to a bone. Now, the 22nd one, uh, the cartilage cells lie in the fluid filled spaces called plasma, stroma, lacunae or matrix. It's the C lacunae. Cartilage cells lie in the fluid filled spaces called lacunae. Okay. Uh, these epithelial tissues that is made up of cells with more length and than width is called squamous epithelium, columnar epithelium, cuboidal epithelium and none of these. The 23rd one is B, that's the columnar epithelium. It looks like column. The length is long and the length is more than the width. Involuntary muscles have no nucleus, one nucleus, two nuclei, many nuclei. It's the B no, one nucleus. Involuntary muscles have one nucleus. These are the most abundant component of the blood. Platelets, RBCs, WBCs or lymph. It's the B1 that is RBCs. That's why it gives red color to the blood. RBC that is the red blood cells. Okay, cardiac muscles are spindle shaped, cylindrical, cylindrical and branched and spherical. The uh, 26th one answer is C that is cylindrical and branched. Muscles which work continuously and tirelessly are voluntary muscles, involuntary muscles, cardiac muscles and all of these. 27th one is the C, the cardiac muscle which never take any rest till the life, till lifelong. Uh, Dendrons is a neuron in a neuron further divide to form cyton, bones, axon or dendrites. 28 one is the dendrites. 
white fibrous tissue is found in tendons, ligaments, bones or cartilage. White fibrous tissues are found in tendons. Connective tissues which act as a packing material around organs are yellow fibrous tissue, white fibrous tissue, areolar tissue or cartilage. Thirtieth one is C that is areolar tissue. Bone is a type of skeletal tissue, nervous tissue, connective tissue or muscular tissue. Thirty-first one is the skeletal tissue. Bone is a type of skeletal tissue. Now the fill in the blanks. The two types of tissues present in plants are meristematic and permanent tissues. Okay. In colon chyma, the cell walls are thickened and corners at the corners due to the presence of cellulose and pectin. A group of actively dividing cells form from the meristematic tissue. Form rather. Form the meristematic tissue. The dash meristematic tissue increases the length of the plants, the epical meristematic tissue. Dash tissue is a kind of simple permanent tissue that has dead cells. It's the sclerent chyma tissue. Xylem and phloem together constitute the vascular system of the plant. The lateral meristematic tissues increases the thickness of the roots and the stems. Simple permanent tissue provides support and protection to the plant. Okay. Now the ninth one dash are the cells associated with the transportation of food produced as a result of photosynthesis that is the sieve cells. Tenth Dash are elongated cells with minute pores, that is sieve cells again. Eleventh one, complex permanent tissue transports water and food materials. The outer walls of the epidermis are usually thick and covered with cutin. The, it, in leaves, the epidermis has special cells called guard cells. The fibers of jute and husk of coconut is made up of sclerenchyma tissue. A das vessel, a xylem vessel is not one cell but a series of cells. Then phloem is located on the outer side of the vascular bundle. Sixteenth one. Now seventeenth, epithelial tissues consist of cells without any intercellular spaces. Eighteenth, Skeletal muscles help in the movement of the limbs. 19. The neurons or the nerve fibers constitute the nerves. A ligament connects one bone to another. 21. Adipose tissue cushions and insulates the body. 22. Limp is a fluid connective tissue without red blood cells. 23. Areolar is the most widely distributed connective tissue in animals. 24. The axon is a part of a nerve cell. The intercellular spaces in the connective tissues are filled with matrix or ground substance. The muscle muscles of heart are the cardiac muscles. 27. Areolar tissue acts as a packing material. Now this is the end of my this video. I'll continue with this chapter questions in my next video. Thank you.